Hey, this is Vince at Discounting Board Marine. Today we're going to change an impeller on a 351 Ford Indemar engine. They used these engines up until 1993, uh, and then in 1994 they went to GM fuel injected engines. So there's a lot of engines out there. And actually, Indemar used the same pump and same impeller all the way up until present day, which is 2021. So this will cover a lot of engines. Here we're at the front of the engine, and this is the cover for the impeller pump. So we're going to take these four screws out, and you want to be careful with these. They're made out of brass usually. They can be stainless steel, but they snap off real easy. They're not real big in diameter. Okay, now the screws are out, so we're going to pop this cover off. And you can see the impeller is inside. And then what I like to do at this point is just take a little WD-40, spray a little in the housing where the impeller is. We'll disable the ignition system. And then just bump the engine a little bit. That'll loosen up that impeller, lubricate it a little bit. Then you just take two small screwdrivers, pry from either side, and you can see, take the little bites. And then the whole idea is to pull this straight out. There's a seal behind this impeller, and if you pry from one side, you'll wallow that seal, and that causes a leak which is an easy problem to fix. We sell a seal, you don't have to get a whole pump. You can see this impeller has been in for about two years, and you can see it's got a memory. You can see the flat spot. This boat hasn't been run very much. It's definitely time for a change on this. And now we're ready to put the new impeller in. I'm gonna put a little soap on it. That'll help lubricate it a little bit, help it slide in. You don't need a lot, just enough to get the blades a little bit wet. The shaft is splined, so you're going to have to twist this impeller to get it started. Doesn't matter which way you twist it, just so long as you can get it started. And push it in. You can feel the splines, and you can see it's going in. Again, you don't have to worry about which way these blades go in. As soon as you bump that engine, they'll flop the right way. Doesn't hurt a thing. As you can see, we're in flush now. The last about quarter of an inch or so, I just took a hammer handle and just pushed it in. Now it's flush. Now we're ready to put the cap back on and the gasket and our screws back in. We're ready to put the cover back on. You can see the gasket is a little thicker right here. You can see where it is a little thicker on the cover itself and this is a nice pump because it's got the lettering and everything lettering goes up actually it goes a little bit to the side just make sure everything lines up you can see it's a little thicker right here and right here and you just want to match that up and we're ready to put it all back together again put our screws in When you tighten these screws back up, you just want to snug them up. You don't want to really crank on them because, again, these are soft. They'll break real easy. And you don't want to break them off. Okay, our screws are in. We're going to just snug them up. I'm using a uh, 5 16 inch wrench. Works fine. You can use a screwdriver. This is a little little easier and, and you just snug them up. You don't want to again over tighten them. That's how you change an impeller and if you have any questions or we can help with anything just give us a call 803-345-0996. My name is Vince, V-I-N-C-E and I'm Extension 3. Thank you for your time.